This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. I don't want to both sides this, but we are living in a time right now with the Israeli-Hamas conflict that is very disheartening for me. And when I say I don't want to both sides it, what I mean is there's callousness on both sides of this issue. I'm seeing a lot of hatred for Jews and anti-Semitism where people are lacking empathy and concern and love for their fellow human beings who were killed in a terrorist attack in Israel. It's very troubling. And then on the other side, this is what I'm going to talk about today, is you've got this entire element of people who are so in the tank for the, the nation of Israel that they will laugh at, they will dismiss the murders, the killing of, of babies, of children, of innocent women, of of people who are non-combatants using the, oh, they're they're being used as human shields, so they have to be murdered. They have to be killed because they're human shields. It's stupid. If you make that argument, stop making it because it's stupid. Angie Nixon is a Florida state representative, not in Congress, but in the state house in Florida. You may remember this photo of her while uh, um, dumb shit Ron DeSantis was speaking. She was just incensed that he was even there. Justifiably so. And she is a good woman, a good representative for her constituency. And yesterday she's making a plea to the state house in Florida, a speech on the floor of the Florida Assembly. Crying about the death of thousands of children at the hands of the IDF using the human shield justification for their killing. Before I play this clip, I want to say this. If it's okay for children to be killed, to be bombed, carpet bombed, their apartment complexes leveled because Hamas is hiding there, If Hamas was hiding among Israeli citizens in in Israel, Tel Aviv, let's say, if they were hiding there, would Israel just blow up and kill Jewish Israelis? They would not do that because it's wrong and there would be outrage. People would say, you can't do that just because Hamas happens to be in the building. Kill a bunch of innocent Israelis. The same thing applies. Innocent people are innocent people, and they they should not be targeted, and they are being targeted. It's not collateral damage when they're literally targeted, when refugee camps are being bombed. Here's Angie Nixon, and I want you to listen to a colleague of hers. it's, It's on screen as a caption, but you can hear her. She's saying, how many dead babies is enough? How many dead children, how many innocent lives must be taken? And someone screams out, and I'm going to name her, all of them. Watch this horrific moment of inhumanity. We are at 10,000 dead Palestinians. How many will be enough? I also, one of my colleagues just said all of them. Wow. Wow. One of my colleagues said all of them. One of my colleagues also stated that this is going to dry up their fundraising if we vote on this resolution. I also want that, like, that's what we've become in this state. That's what we've become in this state where we don't care about innocent babies that don't even get the opportunity to blow out their first birthday candle. All of them. She says 10,000 Palestinians have been killed. I don't know the number. How many is enough? All of them. That's an endorsement of genocide on the floor 
of the Florida House. Michelle Saltzman is her name. Here's her private Twitter account. I try not to laugh at my jokes, but we all know I'm hilarious. Number one in the Florida House personal account. My pronouns, because I'm a f- bigot, try and me, like try me. Yeah, you're, we all know you're hilarious, Michelle Saltzman. Here's her official account. Republican Representative Florida House, District 1. I do not use social media for communication. If you need assistance or information, use the state website listed. But Rashida Tlaib is facing censure, or was censured. I know this woman's not in the, in the federal, in the House, but uh, this will be saluted by many. Furthering the divide relative to the both sides. This is someone who is an extremist on this side. And there are extremists on the other. Sure, of course. None of it's good. But to call for the eradication of an entire population seems problematic, does it not? In the face of a woman's tears, crying out for justice. Good for you. Angie Nixon, I hope you will run for Congress and do wider good for the people of Florida. I really hope that's in the cards for you. And if if you're out there and you're in her district, communicate that to her. Encourage her. What do you think? Again, I know I'm going to get pushback for this. You can leave a comment below, call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, as always, and I've been getting them, daily at dollamore.com. If you're still with me and you want to help produce this content, you want to help me uh, further this message, grow this platform, there's a way to do it. Two bucks a month, you can become a channel member. If, again, if you're still with me, uh, become a channel member for $2 a month, click the join button, see what's involved you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. That doesn't just support I doubt it podcast, the, po- the podcast I host with my, with my co-host, Brittany Page. It also supports this work here. Uh, and I would appreciate it. Uh, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Hit the super thanks button, buy some merch. Make sure you're subscribed, like, comment, and share this video on social media. I love and appreciate you guys, even when you disagree. And I'll see you next time. Until then, be genuine. Please take care of one another.